Hello, I'm Rick Signorella, the host for the September edition of the Hoffman Estates Citizen. In this month, we'll see the Hoffman Estates Police Department swearing in and National Night Out, the Community Day event, the Franny and Dan the Mailman Proclamation, Public Service Selfie Day, and National America 250 City Pledge. The Hoffman Estates Police Department held another swearing in of a new officer. Zachary Woodburn, point to the office. Admiral Pointy of the office. A probationary police officer. Probational police officer. In the village of Hoffman Estates. Village of Hoffman Estates. In the county of Cook. County of Cook. A solemnly swear or affirm. A solemnly swear or affirm. That will support the Constitution. Support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. That will support the Constitution. I'll support the Constitution. Of the state of Illinois. Of the state of Illinois. And I will faithfully discharge. I will faithfully discharge. The duties of the office. Duties of the office. A probationary police officer. Of a probational police officer. According? According. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Congratulations, Zach. Thank you. Thank you. Every year, the Hoffman Estates Police Department looks forward to visiting with the community by hosting National Night Out. Hi everyone, my name is Officer Cassidy Ortiz. I am part of the Community Relations Unit in Hoffman Estates Police Department. Tonight we have National Night Out. Basically this event is for partnering with the community and the police department um, to show the community that we are not just um, people with uniforms and badges. Um, we are just like them, um, getting them interacting with us and um, all of our vehicles. We had our, our drones out there. Um, so the public really loved to see that. We also had our SWAT team um, and our mobile field force. Um, they brought their riot gear for kids to try on. Um, we have some different resources from the community like Kenneth Young and the Children's Advocacy Center. Um, the fire department was here. We have a DJ. Um, it's been a really good turnout even though it's been a little bit rainy um, for my first one doing it by myself. Um, I couldn't ask for more. It's been great to be appreciated by the community and have the kids come out and everything. So thank you to um, some of the vendors that we have. We had the fire department here, Salvation Army, Church of the Cross was gracious enough to donate um, food as far as like hot dogs, chips, drinks, cookies um, for everybody that was here. Um, and I also want to thank the Hoffman Estates Park District. Um, we had some realtors here. Um, we had Gene, who was dressed up as Batman with his Batmobile. Um, I want to thank um, the military was here, the uh, Air Force and the Army. I also want to thank um, all my officers that showed up, uh, the Hoffman Estates Fire Department, and then um, all the trustees um, that showed up tonight. I appreciate everybody coming, and I hope to see you again next year. Hoffman Estates Police Department and Health and Human Services brings local resources to the residents with their Community Day event. Yeah, we are at our Community Day event. Um, we have wellness resources here for our community where we have different local vendors such as Kenneth Young, Schaumburg Township, um, Schaumburg Library. Um, they are all here to support us and to support our community. We're all just coming together to bring resources to our residents of Hoffman Estates. This all get us, got started when we realized that there was a need for mental health, um, health needs. Um, so we decided to bring the resources to our community, a walking distance, and we all, we're all we hoping to be able to serve our community by bringing all these different agencies here. We are here also to help serve our Hispanic Latino population. Um, we are bringing Spanish resources, um, walking distance to our residents of Steeple Hill and Highland Crossing. Yeah, and we just want to thank um, Conice and um, Lisa Laboricua, our Latin Street dancer, who came and is here um, providing um, teaching dance, and our fire department and police department that are here to support us as well. We do plan on making this annual um, community day. We This is our second year doing it, and it's been very successful. Mayor McLeod presented a proclamation and a key to the city to declare Franny and Dan Day in the village of Hoffman Estates. Ha, 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 ha. 
backyard clothes. Yay! <laughs> 500. Everybody here, huh? Hi. Hi, Dan. How you doing, guys? Hi, Dan. Thanks Everybody. for coming on. We're here today to uh, celebrate the unusual bond between Fran and Dan the mailman. This is the 500th uh, mail delivery day in a row that Fran has run out to greet Dan. They're very good friends, as you can tell. And it's definitely uh, a different story than we usually... Uh, Postal carriers usually run into, isn't it, Dan? <laughs> yeah, a lot of times we're being <laughs> being chased by dogs. But this one uh, just took to coming out and running up to me and let me pick her up every day. She, she does this every day. <laughs> every day. That's fantastic. It is. You it see, is. they've renamed their uh, driveway Mailman Drive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> in your honor. But I am here on official business from the Village of Hoffman Estates. Village of Hoffman Estates, Office of the Mayor Proclamation. Whereas Franny the Chihuahua, born on the 4th of July, 2021, was adopted by Lisa and Duane Lasky of Hoffman Estates. Whereas postman Daniel Larson, having worked for the USPS for nearly 40 years, first met Franny a few days later while delivering mail to her home. Whereas Franny, upon first meeting postman Daniel Larson, immediately fell hell over, head over paws in love with him in such an unparalleled and peculiar fashion. Whereas Franny began waiting and running to see Postman Dan each and every visit since she was a puppy to shower him with kisses and love. Whereas the videos of the daily exchange have brought joy and hope to hundreds of thousands of people around the world and have been adapted, written, and published into multiple best-selling children's books. Whereas the story of their unique bond has been recognized by the Chicago Sun-Times, the Daily Herald, WGN News, News Nation, Fox News, and NBC News. Whereas postman Dan Larson has shown such dedication to serving the public, not only through hard work, but also bringing joy into the lives of the others around the world alongside of Franny. Whereas today, on, July 27th of Jul on the 27th of July, 2024, Franny will have successfully completed her 500th run to postman Dan. Be it therefore resolved that I, William D. McLeod, acting under and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and the laws of the great village of Hoffman Estates, hereby proclaim Saturday, June, July 27, 2024, as Fran Dan Day in the village of Hoffman Estates. <laughs> we urge everyone to join us the observance. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> I got one for you too, Fran. Uh, also, Dan, I have a key to the village of Hoffman Estates for you. Please. Thank you for serving our people for almost 40 years. Thank and you. Doing so such an much, outstanding man. job. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> Franny's, <laughs> Fran's got a key too. <laughs> should thank fit, you. Should fit on her collar. <laughs> yeah, it should fit on her collar. <laughs> and you know, thank you for everybody coming out to show the support for this. Um, Lisa, I, I show up and deliver the mail. The, Franny runs out to me. Lisa does does all the work and puts together all all these videos. And I couldn't even imagine how hard that's got to be every time to, to cut and add the music. And so Lisa does a great job putting this stuff together. So I think a big hand of applause for Lisa. Yeah. Well, you both have a very large fan club, you know. <laughs> like I said, all over the world. For showing up and thank you guys for coming out. Also appreciate that. So I, I would actually like to thank everybody in the community for the love and support. Uh, a lot of people accuse Dan of being late with their mail. P people who aren't here. People, a lot of people in, on the internet say, oh, the neighbors must be upset. And you know what? We have the best community in the whole world. We never have an upset neighbor. Everybody is just wonderful. And Dan only stays for 30 seconds. Yeah. I mean, I do a one minute video, so that's about as long as he stays. And uh, I'm just so grateful that Franny came out to meet you that day and that just this special way that she responded to you just says a lot about your character good and good girl. Yeah. Yeah, she really You know what? Did. I can't make this stuff up. He always says I'm doing the videos, but I can't make this stuff up. She truly truly has found something special in Dan 
And if you get to know this man, you'll understand why. He's an, he's an amazing person. He and his wife, we just love them. We've become great friends. And incidentally, for those of you who don't know, they are now Franny's godparents. You know, Dwayne and I, you know. <laughs> we made that decision Yeah, we made on. that a long time ago. Early on. So thank you all for being here. Thank you yeah. for the love and support. And we'll keep doing these videos as long as Franny keeps running to Dan. How does it feel? It's been almost three years. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm It doesn't feel like three years. It, really could, it doesn't feel like three years. I mean, I know it has been because it's fun. It doesn't, yeah. you know, so it doesn't feel like three years. I know, um, I know. But I will say the first time she ran, <laughs> look at her, she is so tired. The first time she ran out, and gave me a kiss. I mean, I just knew that she was a sweetheart, and yeah. it's every day after that. I think the feeling's mutual. I think she knew you were a sweetheart, okay. and she just, you know, when I saw how she responded to you, um, as I said to the crowd here, just, you you have remarkable character, Dan, and I know that it's not something you feel comfortable hearing too frequently. <laughs> not really. <laughs> but um, when I saw what that meant to her, I felt like there was no way I couldn't share that with others. And then I remember saying to my husband, if a hundred people watch this, I'll do it again. And a hundred turned into a thousand, a thousand turned into a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand has turned into almost a million now. It's... And you just, there's something about you and your character and the way that you and Franny relate to one another that just means the world to people. And I just want to personally thank you for allowing me to videotape it and put it in a way, you know, to show people how organic. I am more than happy to do it. Yeah, the and, two and of I, you now are. that I know that so many people enjoy it, that's why I enjoy it so much more. Yeah. 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 All right. Yep. Well, thanks for doing this. And as I've said, we'll keep doing it as you have said, as long as Franny keeps running to you. <laughs> as long as she keeps running to my truck and wants to get picked up, I'll do it. Yep. That's right. Or until you retire, whichever comes first, but. Not not soon. We, we know you're not retiring too soon. So. No, I am planning on sticking around at least for yeah. another couple of years. So. Yeah. And thanks for being an exceptional mail carrier. We love you in this community, and you know you're treasured. But I just want to tell Thank everybody you. else. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. So we have taken the story of Franny and Postman Dan, and I've written three children's books now, and you can find all three of them on Amazon. Just go to your Amazon page and put Fran Dan in the search bar. If you just put Fran Dan, it's one word, Fran and Dan together, you will find our three Amazon books. And we have a Christmas book coming out about what Franny Nation did for Postman Dan just this past Christmas time. It's called Operation Franny Claus, and that will be coming out this October. So thank you so much for the love and support. And remember that a portion of all the proceeds go to the local pet rescue, the Almost Home Foundation. Bye. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for coming. Bye. Now here is the video we presented for National Public Service Selfie Day. We come to this place for community. We come to Village Hall to connect, to resolve, to pay our water bill. Because we need that, all of us. That indescribable feeling we get when we step inside and we collaborate for the betterment of our village. Not just engaged, but somehow united together. Important decisions and discussions support that we can feel. Somehow, challenges feel manageable in a place like this. Our community feels like the best part of us and our efforts feel meaningful and impactful because here, they are. Hoffman Estates Village Hall. And here is the video we produced for the National America 250 Pledge with Mayor Bill McLeod. I'm Bill McLeod, Mayor of Hoffman Estates, Illinois. As Americans, we come from many walks of life with unique viewpoints and diverse opinions. For some, the American dream means owning a home, having a good job, and achieving financial security. For others, it represents new opportunities for freedom, equality, and the pursuit of happiness. 
It was optimism that helped found our country 250 years ago. As the Founding Fathers declared independence, it was with hopeful confidence that this country, our country, will one day be a great nation. This continued optimism lives on here in Hoffman Estates, where our motto is growing to greatness, and our shared history and connectedness help make us a vibrant community. I am hopeful for our future in America, where through our system of democracy and self-governance, we continue to promote fairness, innovation, and growth for many more years to come. Well, that's it for this edition of the Hoffman Estates Citizen. From all of us here at HETV, thanks for watching.